The Shakiri people will be hosting, let me say, the world mm -hmm. yes, sir. as yes. they crown their king yes. tomorrow. So, I mean, these are exciting. So, well, while we're trying to get our guests, I'd like to hear the ladies, your thoughts on this coronation. Nima, I'm coming to you because I know you love culture, you love tradition, you love, you know, you, you, know, you mm -hmm. like these are the kind of things that gets you excited. excited. So, what are <laughs> your thoughts kind of on this? I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm sitting in front of the TV to, uh, throughout tomorrow for this, and I'm going to be talking to my children about it. I love that my parents used to talk to me about it. There's one language my neighbor who is from Ishekiri used to say, we say, when do you see white man? Now we first see white man. <laughs> the Ishekiri kingdom was known to, to be the first to interface with the foreigners Colonial. and not, be, not uh, before that was slave totally thing. before slave and um, colonization. So mm -hmm. they had their princes educated in Portugal. They did trade and all of those things. And the reason why they do their coronation at the Ode Ishekiri is something that amazes me. So there's a bigger place where they do all that event, the colors, the richness, mm. and the loyalty of their people. Mm. Everybody that is of Shakiri, you know, I want to see a man with me to travel. We'll be going <laughs> to go down. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm told that we have our guest, the president of the Niger Football Federation, Amaju Pinnick, in the building. Good morning, sir. Are you there? Good morning, how are you? Okay, I'm from Worry Kingdom. Okay. So tell us about yeah. the event happening tomorrow. I know there were lots of controversies that trailed this, and a lot of people had questions about um, <clears throat> the fact that the, they said the, the crown was stolen. I mean, so yes. did we get the crown back, yeah. or we get the new crown? What exactly happened. is happening tomorrow? Um, I can tell you that um, I just stepped into my home in Worry uh, less than two minutes ago because of you guys. And uh -huh. um, we just went for a procession. Um, a seven kilometer procession with the Omoba, with your gami himself. Uh, you you see later in the day, I, I think it will be in the social media at the moment. That is how you test your popularity among your uh, okay. among your subjects. Mm -hmm. And um, today happens to be possibly the last day in the Daddy King before, by God's grace, we'll be crowned tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we went around the major streets of Bori walking. The, uh, the Omoba himself led this procession through the major streets. You know, it is about seven and a half kilometer walk, you know. And you could see where people were coming out from their homes, mm -hmm. old, young, you know, healing and be happy, and you can see the excitement, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can see that we, we, we are in, in this, in the, in, in the, in the world leadership, we're having it right, you know. Yeah. Because like I said, and I always say, when Shola was born, he was born into undiluted royalty. You mm -hmm. know, he was born into... It, it, it's, it's very royal, very majestic. You need to say him, you know? Blue blood. And that has been, I've known him for about 30 years, and I have that same admiration, hmm. you know, right? From when he was a young, you see a lot, everything that has to do with royalty is all encapsulated, if you like, around him. So, right. okay. right, we, 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 we are very happy because, listen, he was groomed, he was not touched. He was uh, conditioned mm. to be a king. Mm. He's our own equivalent of Prince William. So, wow. and we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are very, very excited about it. Right. Okay. How important is tomorrow going to be for the average Shakiri person? Did you get, Did you get me, sir? How important is the coronation for the average Shakiri person? Well, I is is quite significant. Mm -hmm. It's beyond significant. It's um, is beyond historic. I I can I'm trying to get an adjective to qualify it, mm. but I cannot find. But I can tell you that it is <laughs> extremely extremely important. Right. And I pray that this will, be the, this will be the last coronation I will see in my lifetime. I'm 50, mm. and I all over, we believe it's going to rain for a very very, very long, long time. Amen. Right. This will be the third coronation by the place I'll be witnessing. Yeah. And I pray I don't witness yes, another coronation. Okay. And that's the prayer of every one of us. Right. Yeah. So we are really and truly excited about this. And we believe that um, 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 we have gotten it right because right. It is not about him, it's about his subject, it's about the kingdom. Right. You know, okay, let me get a few more questions in for you, sir. Yeah. It's quite enlightening, it's from yeah. a royal family, and it's, he's got the royal blood all around him. Yeah. And mm. what you see as um, um, bickering, you know, it is, not, it is not the first time. In 1951, 
even though I wasn't born, if I may record going to our history books, the, 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 even the king, the original first, that second, that was to be crowned the king, he wasn't the first child at that point, you know, but he was to be crowned based on the, the, the selection from the entire process. But his own brother was there. He went, he was chanting incantation, and they got him arrested, hmm. chased him away, and um, the original the second was uh, installed as the law for in 1951. Hmm. You know, but at the end of the day, they made peace. And even those people that were antagonistic to that uh, law of Korea at that point became his closest allies. Right. So, and I know Omo Ba Yame, I know he, 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 he preaches peace, he loves peace, right. he loves his people. He, do, he will not discriminate. All right, let me get a few more questions do, for you, sir. Forward. He's bringing yeah. everybody on. Okay, sir. Mr. Fennick, we want to enjoy this Ishekiri culture. So we're look what are we looking forward to when it comes to the dressing, the food? Is it a night-long event? Is it three days? Is it seven days? What about the women? What would they be wearing? Those are the sort of exciting things like, Nigerians you like to, to hear. See, you need to see the impromptu procession. You need to see it. Oh. But people came, back, came out in their numbers, you know, okay. very beautifully. But tomorrow, we're going to start at 9 o'clock. Very colorful boat regatta. Everybody, like my family, we have our own boat regatta. Okay. My company, Brown Hill, we have our own boat regatta. Wow. And they all, if you go to the jetty now, you see a lot of boats being, you know, um, designed mm -hmm. in all kinds of colors. Mm -hmm. Then from there we go, then we have the crowning. In Ode Shekiri already, we have uh, a maquet that can seat about 3,000 persons. Mm -hmm. Is uh, they are 25 by 200. That's the length and breadth. And um, we have the overflows. Then, you know, we have individual tents to accommodate guests like mine and some other people. And um, it's, it's something that we are really, really happy to be, you know. And right. we, 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 we know that we have some very eminent and very prominent Nigerians right. that are going to grace the occasion tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two former presidents, um, the uh, President Good Luck in the Village, yeah. Jonathan, and then President of Bastion John. Wow. They are scheduled to attend wow. uh, an area of governors. The new officer will be signing from Kanu later right. in the day. Very good. The for you. It's going to be a very, right. very much. Then the other building is sending a very high power delegation. Yes, how do I was part of the delegation. That okay. The Let me just get one more question in for so, you. So, sir, a lot of issues preceded this coronation. We had some grievances from the Olobushere people, you know, different. Are we looking at everybody resolving these issues out of court and you know, accepting this king wholeheartedly? Trust me, trust me, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. I've told you. In the past, it, it, it happened and, and everything went smooth. So I can tell you, we are looking beyond that. Yeah. If you listen to my uh, um, interview three months ago, I was quite emphatic when I said on the 21st is sacrosanct. And beyond on the 21st, There'll be reconciliation, you know, because that's what the Shakiris are known for, you know, believing, thriving in peace and harmony. Exactly. Uh, we don't want to thrive in, you know, any form of animosity, any form of victory, any form of division. So I want to leave that. It might be ambiguous, but let's leave it at that. But I can tell you at the end of the day, once the king is crowned tomorrow, you, like didn't, grace, you didn't answer my question, sir. Think, um, Concerning the crown, do we have a new crown or is the old crown? <laughs> Did they find the crown that was missing? Don't listen, listen. We, are, we can be moving with time. We can be moving with time. Okay. And possibly there are times where you have a brand new crown. Okay. You know. But for the for the sake of history, you can also maintain what you have and yeah. keep it in the archive. So oh, I can okay. tell you, not on wait until you see tomorrow the crown that will be coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. You know, Mr. Fini, how do we greet the new king in Ishakiri? So you guys can watch it. All yeah, over the world. To greet. The, How do we the greet the new the world, all the Mr. Fini, we want to enjoy this culture we now. We How do we greet the new king in Shekiri? How do we greet the new king in Shekiri? The language. Me, what do we say? We want to as, greet him. As far as he went through the rigors, the rudiments, at the critical time of going, through the, <laughs> going to the Jala and back, once he gets into that enclave, and comes out on scaffold, yeah. he's referred to as Ogyame. Ogyame. But because Ogyame. he has not been crowned officially, okay. he's called Omoba. Omoba. But if Anulu goes to the Danke, on scaffold, 
both with the Jala, which is the, 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 the spiritual and the ancestral conclave or enclave of the Shekri people, and come out from Skate. Mm. Then, as soon as it comes out, the chief priest will be the first person to meet him, yes. and will, the appellation will not change. From hmm. Omaba to Ogiane. Ogiane. Oh. You know, and that so, was exactly what happened. Can I ask? Let me and ask. Chiefs, let, let, let me ask. And a, that was exactly what happened. Let me ask. A so that's what I call it. <laughs> Forget that this morning. So let it, me ask your Ogiane question, sir. Because we're trying to learn from you. So are we going to see him emerge after the priest has seen him? Are we all going to see him as he emerges together on live TV? Or we'll just see the priest come out after everybody has seen him already? Mm -hmm. I want to have an idea. Them. What would we'll be recorded live? No, there's a, there, 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 there are procedures for ceremonies tomorrow. You know, he needs also people what's called the Uda. Uda is the staff of office. He will have to select you. For example, tomorrow, you will not hear his new uh, appellation, his new title. Oh, yeah. The law of worry, yeah. whatever, whatever the first, whatever, whatever the second. By tomorrow, but I think we should have to know that, you know. But, All right. And um, the, the crowning is on the bank of 11, All right. where the crown will be. Oh, um, um, put on his head, okay. and that's it. All but right. trust me, the Shakiris are God-fearing people, and um, is with very rich history, dating yes. back 480 years. Yes. You know, and um, is one very unique, very unique ethnic group. Right. Why? Right. Why so? Because it's one of the few ethnic groups that can boast of one king, mm. one language, and one culture. Mm. Mm. All right. Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you so uh, much, Mr. Penick, for sharing this with us. We just we 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 we're excited about the whole celebration, and we thought it was important for us to give it a few minutes to discuss. So that I just can see that there's beauty in our in culture, our, culture. Yes. our differences, the, and there's beauty in our diversity. And it's important that we all recognize each other, love each other, and then celebrate with each other. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, we wish the Omoba success tomorrow in his coronation. Okay, let's go on a break. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back.